It is the year 2097. The Earth's population has increased, and the government is concerned about the depletion of resources. As a solution, they decide to send a mission to Mars to examine the planet's atmosphere and determine whether humans can live there. To test the planet's harsh conditions, they sent cockroaches since they are known to survive in any environment, regardless of temperature or other conditions. Fast forward to the year 2597, and the movie follows two characters, Nana and Komachi, who are on the run after being accused of murder. They are apprehended by a government doctor who offers them a deal, kill the cockroaches on Mars, and all charges will be dropped, and they will receive a substantial reward. Komachi and Nana agree to the deal but are trained for two years, with several other members before embarking on the mission to Mars. The scene then shifts to the next scene, and we see their arrival on Mars. They spread gas to kill the cockroaches, but they discover that there are no cockroaches on the planet. Instead, they encounter humanoid creatures that are half human and half cockroach. These creatures are not like anything they have seen before, with a humanoid shape and cockroach-like features armed with stones or wood and behaving aggressively. Realizing that the creatures are not innocent, Nana and Komachi hide behind a rock, hoping to avoid any confrontation. However, the creatures quickly spot them and move towards them at an alarming speed. Nana and Komachi stand still, unsure of how to respond to the approaching danger. Suddenly, one of the creatures attacks Nana, breaking her neck and killing her instantly, and after killing it leaves the spot. In a tragic turn of events, Asuka is also killed by these monsters, leaving the team even more shaken and uncertain about their mission. The team quickly runs back to the ship to inform the captain about the creatures they have encountered, only to discover that the captain had already been aware of their existence. However, the doctor had instructed him not to tell the team members about them. The captain reveals that the cockroaches sent to Mars 500 years ago have evolved into monsters due to the high levels of radiation, making them stronger than humans. The doctor appears as a hologram in front of the team, assuring them that they have nothing to worry about. He reveals that he has created special injections for each team member that will give them the abilities of various insects, allowing them to defeat the evolved cockroaches. The medicine will improve their DNA by mixing it with the insects, granting them unique abilities that can be used in battle. Despite the doctor's assurances, the team is hesitant to engage in battle with the evolved cockroaches. They want to terminate the mission and return to Earth as soon as possible. However, the creatures quickly surround their spacecraft leaving them with no choice but to fight for their lives. Godly, one of the crew members, offers to distract the cockroaches while the others restart the ship. He injects himself with the medication prescribed by the doctor and undergoes a rapid transformation, becoming a combination of human and ground beetles. With his newfound abilities, Godly fights against the cockroaches, using his unique ability to shoot flames from his body. He then fires flames from his hand, but despite his valiant efforts to kill the cockroach, the creature regenerates quickly and delivers a fatal blow to him, instantly killing him, leaving the crew members even more scared. At the ship, a creature climbs on a window. The crew are assured that the creature will not be able to break the glass, but their assumption is proved wrong when the insect breaks the glass and kills two crew members. The captain then injects himself and starts to mutate. His mutation is based on bullet ants, making him much stronger. The captain is able to easily kill the creature, but after successfully killing the creature, the crew's radar detects millions of cockroach heading towards their ship. It becomes clear that they must leave Mars in order to survive. However, when they attempt to start the engines, they discover that the engines are not working as if they have been sabotaged. The captain decides to distract the bugs while the crew goes to the old ship to find parts to repair the engine. It was the same ship that came ten years ago for the same purpose. Ichiro steps forward and offers to stay with the captain amidst the chaos. Meanwhile, Komachi takes a moment to say her goodbyes to Nanao and makes a vow to come back. However, as he looks upon Nanao's body, he notices an unusual string protruding from her mouth, raising more questions. The crew quickly springs into action and boards the rover, where Tuzuka administers a serum that transforms him into a beetle capable of firing projectiles. With flames emanating from his mouth, Tuzuka propels the rover forward. Here, Jim reveals to Shokichi that Nanao told him the reason. Why they agreed to go on that trip, on the night they were recruited, the woman's stepfather assaulted her as usual, but Shokichi, her boyfriend, appeared just in time to defend, where the man takes a knife and tries to attack him, but the man kicks his arm, throwing the weapon away. While arguing with that guy, Nana takes the knife and stabs him in the back. 
to prevent his girlfriend from being convicted. Shokichi takes the weapon from her hands and begins to stab the man's body, transferring the guilt for that crime to himself. Meanwhile on the other ship, Ichiro and the captain engage in a fierce battle against a swarm of insects that have invaded the ship. Determined to save their fellow crewmates, Ichiro takes matters into his own hands and attempts to expel all the oxygen from the ship, hoping to eliminate the insects entirely. After a little while the bugs start to fall to the floor, Ichiro too collapses. The other crew finds themselves facing a new challenge, a massive wave of bugs hurtling towards them. Despite the odds, they manage to navigate their way through the swarm, thanks to Tuzuka's quick thinking and piloting skills. However, their relief is short-lived as they soon encounter an even larger tsunami, forcing Osaku and Maria to transform and venture outside to protect the rover. Despite their best efforts, the vehicle ultimately flips over, and the crew is forced to rely on the autopilot to continue their journey. The group of girls that were left behind bravely fought against the insects, but unfortunately, they were defeated. After a while the team reaches the old ship, Komachi searches for the girls but couldn't find them. Suddenly, they heard gunshots outside and rushed to investigate. They found two crew members dead and realized that the bugs had learned how to use the gun's weapons against them. To fight the bug, Komachi injects himself with the serum and turns into a hornet. He was now incredibly powerful and he easily kills the insects. Jin also underwent a mutation, becoming a locust, and used his powerful kicks to take down some roaches. Mina transformed into a mantis and slashed some of the insects with her sharp claws. With their new abilities, they were able to win the fight. While the team was recovering, Dr. Honda spoke to one of the bugs through a drone. The bug went to the ship and turned the oxygen back on, pointing a gun at the captain. Suddenly, the bug split into two and out came Azuka, who was based on an emerald wasp. She had the power to control the roach's body and earlier, she had used her powers to make the bugs fight each other. She dried her hair and shot the captain, then woke up Ichigo, who had the ability to survive extreme conditions but required water to reactivate. It was revealed that Azuka and Ichigo were on a secret mission by the doctor. Ichigo was the one who had sabotaged the ship, and they had orders to bring cockroach eggs back to Earth. However, when the mission was over, the team heard the ship taking off without them. They later discovered that the doctor had never intended to exterminate the bugs. Instead, he wanted the cockroaches' DNA to create mutant soldiers for the government, which would make the country very powerful. Their mission was for research purposes, and their fights had been recorded for data analysis. It turned out that the injections were made from a cockroach they had recovered earlier. Suddenly the egg hatched, and two evolved insects emerged. Azuka tried to control them, but they had evolved immunity and ended up killing her. The ship started to fly away, but two bugs called for help, and the rest of the insects started flying towards the ship. They swarmed the ship, causing it to malfunction and crash back down. The insects surrounded Komachi's team and attacked them. They transformed and fought the bugs, easily killing the normal bugs, but the two evolved insects were much more powerful. Mina was attacked, and the bug ripped off her arm and killed her. Jin injected a second dose of the serum, which made him mutate even more, becoming much stronger. Komachi did the same thing, and they continued fighting and killing your enemies. Jin injected one more time, which gave him wings, and he used his new ability to take down the roaches. As they fought, the team became exhausted, and Jin injected multiple doses of the serum, making his transformation permanent and strengthening him even further. However, he was kicked by the leader bug and fell down from exhaustion. Komachi defended him but was injured by the leader. As the roach was about to kill them, a glowing creature flew towards them. It was Nanao who had evolved. She dropped us that incapacitated the bugs, but Jen sadly informed Komechi that Nanao had already passed away. A roach shot Nanao, causing the dust to explode, and Jin jumped in to save Komachi, but Nanao burned to ashes. When Komachi woke up, he saw that Jin had transformed into a creature that looked like a locust. Jin told him to leave, and he went into the ship and found Ichigo. Ichigo aimed his gun at him, but ended up saving Komechi by shooting an insect behind him. They agreed to cooperate until they returned to Earth and fired the escape pod, flying back home. However, the doctor discovered that Carol had hacked into their system and was live-streaming their meeting across the globe. Now that everyone knew Japan's secret project, his assistant feared for their safety. The doctor was calm and said he would sell all of their bug data to other countries who wanted to buy it. The doctor was threatened by his assistant, who turned out to be a spy for Japan. The doctor was ready for this attack 
deflecting the bullet with a barrier and killing his assistant with poison from a robotic spider. The scene then shifts to Komeshi and Ichiko. They reveal their plan on what they will do after reaching the other. Ichiko tells that he will use the knowledge he gained to become a successful person, while Komachi tells that he will build a grave for his colleagues who died in the mission, and then eventually return to this planet. And with this, the movie comes to an end. I hope you liked the explanation. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.